Welcome back everybody. Today I thought I'd do a quick Smedit tutorial because reasons people haven't been looking at Smedit. So first of all what we got over here is we've got a victory class. We decided not to use this one because it's too high polygon. Uh, we decided not to use any of these and we ended up sticking with this one for the victory one which is a 900 meter Star Wars ship. You can't even see it. Here it is. So there are the ones that we didn't use. Here's the one that we're using right now, okay? So that is the Victory One class Star Destroyer. It's 900 meters long, according to Wikipedia, okay? Because that's where I get all of my information from, is Wikipedia. Um, and basically, the Imperial class is 1600 meters, which I'll probably be doing next. This is Star Wars Month, and we've already been inside SketchUp. We've taken the Rendili Star Drive Victory 1 and we've already moved it so that our center point, as you can see, the blue, red and green lines is directly in the center there. We're going to hope that this is actually facing forwards. It should be. Um, it can only be facing backwards, though, in fairness. And if that is the case, we'll just simply uh, rotate the core. So there it is. There's your starship. So uh, we want to make it big enough that the Falcon can... Uh, get in the hangar for reasons that shall re remain secret. Um, so obviously I've gone to my file options and we're using an old version of, of uh, SketchUp because the pro version is the 3D model OBJ export option now, unfortunately. But if you can get your hands on an old version and there are mirrors where you can get old versions, you want to hit the options, triangulate the faces, export two faces and then export texture maps. So. What we're going to do now is obviously we've exported that already um, and then we take this file and we apply. So we've got six gigabytes in use for Smedit. Just a standard clean installation of the latest version. I'm using 1.03.92. There might be a new one. And I'm actually using my, uh, it says 018 here, but actually the current version that I am running Smedit on is, let's just go into 018. Check the version.txt and I'll be able to give you a... It's a 1867, so that's current build at time of recording this video. So, all that being said, we say apply and start Smedit. And now we're going to make ourselves a 900 meter long victory class. So, first things first, we're going to go to the import OBJ and then find the actual OBJ. So that one is going to be called victory class. I'm just going to type V, victory one. There it is. Open. And I'm going to type 900. Now, this is where things could get a little bit sticky. So I'm going to stop recording when it starts crunching them. Because with experience, I might need more gigabytes of RAM on my system to actually do a straight conversion at that scale. I, it may be the case that I have to actually make it 300 size and then triple the like scale up times three on all axis, giving me 900. OK, um, the reason for that is very simply that there's a lot of blocks and it's a lot of memory to be kept in RAM and it will go over what my system actually has available. So let's start. Oh, it's actually going pretty well. Wow. Smell it's better. Okay, so literally that took about five seconds. So the next option, of course, is to... Um, you'd think that I'd sl split this down the middle and do all that. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to hollow it. And then save it, basically. Um, so hollowing might take some time. Let's see how it does. 0%. The memory is increasing. We haven't made 1% yet. Oh. Right then, guys. Basically, it's too big to hollow out. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go save as blueprint. And I'm going to save this as a big yellow banana. So no one will know what I'm working on. Yellow banana. I mean, if I was an admin, I'd probably load it in just to see what the hell it was. But, you know, yellow banana dash one-to-one -one. and there it is guys it's that simple now all I have to do is go into the game and uh, upload it to the server or load it in my single player and I'm good to go that's it it's done it's one star destroyer 
So there's your uh, tutorial for Smedit. You can uh, get the description. In the description, you'll have links for where to get Smedit. Uh, and obviously for the 3D warehouse, which is where I've gotten all these models from. Um, over the years, we've always credited people as best we can. But to be honest, a lot of people don't actually care, which is a shame because I think that these model creators should get more credit for their work. So I do try to at least indicate where to find the model. Um, and generally, if someone requests a link for one, I will send it to them so they can, uh, you know, have fun with it too. But, uh, okay guys, so we're importing the OBJ again. I think I might be out of memory already because I've got, oh no, it's fine, it's fine. No need to panic. So if I now go yellow and paint, that get, takes us basically up to the state where we're already at. Only, uh, only difference is that I need to do an additional step, which I didn't know about because it's such a big model, I can't see that the core is not in the right place. So we've got to go to modify move and when the parameters come up, I'm looking for a dorsal, so minus 64, and an aft of minus 64, because we've already measured it out. That's what those blue lights that are sticking out of the ship right now are for. Um, you can just about see them there. It's very hard to make out, but yeah, I may as well just go and take a look. Look, see this here? Basically, the core turned out to be up above the ship. Hello, well! So we went down 64 blocks to roughly the middle of the ship and then back 64 blocks to sort of roughly the way well, it's not the middle of the ship. But I'm guessing center of gravity would be either there or maybe a little further back. So I just want it to turn around that kind of point there. So there isn't too much tail swing and there isn't too much nose, um, you know, oversteer or whatever you want to call it. So... <clears throat> Right, get out of that menu. Right. So we'll just come back to here, get a nice shot of the project, and let's check out Smedit. There we go. So we're going to save this as. Save as. Uh, victory 1, Victor, Victor, Tory 1, V2.